Follow me on Instagram and get access to a lot of exclusive content and short videos that are never released to the YouTube public at Tiny Boat Nation. Last time you and I were looking at this transom, we were gutting the entire boat. Remember how scary we were pulling this thing off because of how terrible it looked? We got really lucky. Fortunately for us, somebody had already redone this transom at least once, and it wasn't with preserved wood. So the damage for the initial treated wood was very minimal. So whatever you have to do to get this off is whatever you have to do. When you go and look for a boat, you need to make sure you take a specially good look at the transom. To the best of your ability, size it up and see how messed up and worn out it is. Because it's an absolute risk to get an old boat like this and try and soup it up. Because if the transom's done, then you either have, need to have a good friend or you yourself need to have some pretty fantastic uh, welding or fab skills to refit a new transom in the back. Not as bad as I thought it would be, but still pretty bad. That may be what was jamming us up down there. The corrosion is fairly, despite how bad the wood was, the corrosion here appears to be fairly cosmetic. Like no super deep pitting that I can see. Which is great considering this was the transom. To make the transom. This is 3 4 inch for rated plywood sheeting. Try to find the best sheet you can with the least amount of knots in it. You'll have to double it up. We're going to try and trace it between the knots to get the most consistent um, strength out of it and hopefully the less voids. Trumarine gray plywood is for rated plywood. That is, it's supreme for rated plywood with barely any voids and superior glue. That's what separates it. But you would still need to preserve the wood itself with something. We're going to resin coat this after we trace two pieces out. All right, we'll be using West Systems 105 epoxy resin, 205 the hardener to pick those up. So I can't really go any farther with the live well and how I'm going to set that up until I get the transom situated because then I'm going to tie pods that are going to end up being the transom support themselves which are going to replace the initial ports that we that we gutted. And so it's all resin coated, that's a pretty thick coat of resin. I had to cut a little bit away so it would fit in there. I had a thick silicone seal on the top with epoxy on the rest of the stuff. The bigger issue is all these holes and how we're gonna retie those all together. So you gotta get the handles back on. I think the handles went over here. There's a million, there's just so many holes. I got a few screws in place just to hold the transom up, but we'll be trying to seal these off with closed end pop rivets The anything that's obviously gonna sit below the water line, you can see the water line.
update on where we're at. The transit supports of themselves are a lot better because for one, they mount to the entire rest of the frame. And two, they're just one big solid chunk reinforced by the foam that we poured in there. We have the conduits running in adjacent spots. We have the conduits running there. One of those will be filled, the caps over there. Those are gonna be for the, for the builds. We'll be doing a builds video here pretty soon. We'll be doing an entire live wall series pretty soon. That is the three-way valve. That is the pump. Those are all the quick connect hoses from Flowrite. We have a complete Flowrite quick connect setup. The live wall literally has the best system that you can get for like a DIY kit. It's the same system they stick in the Rangers and the Nitros and all those. With the exception of oxygenators and other additional things they stick inside those live walls, the actual plumbing system uh, is the best out there. It has a it has an auto feature. It has a really, really nice timer. It has its own separate switch here. So its own little setup here is very, very cool how the whole thing's done. So we'll definitely be doing that next video. Next video will be the live well after this transom and then the fish finder and then some other videos. And then we'll be tying it all together and it'll be done. This, all we did was just make it more compact and more just in more concrete and then completely aluminum. We, there's no wood hybrid framing in here at all with the exception of the back. I really wanted the back to be solid as solid as possible and not move, which is why we stuck uh, the 3 8 back there. We have conduits running, hiding all the wires. So you can run and rerun wires. We're gonna run two more. So this will be a wall of four conduits. The two are gonna be bigger to run the actual cables uh, for the starter cable for the motor. And then again, for the main wire supply down here. And those will all be ran seamlessly. You'll be able to access and take out and re-add stuff. We'll be adding in LEDs all tying it to one system on one switch. We use less switches this time, it's more efficient, so we have a free switch if you ever wants to add anything else. Again, the front deck speaks for itself. If you haven't seen the front deck video, when it's not all covered with crap, it came out pretty sweet. So much foam in this thing. $400 of foam, ladies and gentlemen. I couldn't think of a better way to do it than hide the actual uh, live wall pump in its own little section here. That's just what had to be done. Other right, than that, there is a lot of foam. There is 80 ounces of foam in these pockets 80 under there and that's not just that there's some underneath this cooler system leaking back out into here this all drains down from the south bailing subfloor into the to deeper channel pocket which is down here and it all goes out to the bilges and we'll talk about the bilge pump setups how we're going to run them once they're completely refined everything else it's coming pretty cool so for the last tiller life john boat build that i ever do this is this is definitely coming out very very well I'm glad I can do this and show you guys an all out build before I go into bigger and better things. If you guys like this video, check out my channel and subscribe because well, I need you. I can't do this without you guys. You're everything to this channel. You're the reason that it exists. Check it out, support it, hit the notification bell if you want consistent videos. Check me out on Patreon if you want to get serious perks in the midst of supporting this channel. Thank you much, God bless, see ya.